Hi guys, welcome to another video, hope you're all keeping well. Now for this video, I'd like to review another horror movie that I watched recently on Blu-ray. Uh, now this is a movie I've been looking forward to uh, for quite some time now. So when I saw it available uh, online, I thought to myself, I've got to have that, uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's a 2022 uh, movie. Um, and it's all about the, um, you know, in, in the novel Dracula, where Dracula stows away on, on the ship, the Demoset, uh, on, on a voyage to England to spread his vampirism. They've actually made a movie of that particular scene in uh, Stoker's novel. And that movie is called <clears throat> The Last Forge of the Demoset. So there you go, guys. Very uh, Salem's Lot looking vampire there, yeah? Yeah. All right, then, guys. So uh, if you're not familiar with this movie, I'll just read you the synopsis at the back. Then I'll go on to give me thoughts on the movie as a whole. Okay. Uh, now, um, a crew sailing from Carpathia to England find that they are carrying very dangerous cargo in the form of Count Dracula. So there you go, guys. That's the movie in a nutshell. Yeah. Okay, then. So what did I think of this movie? Well, uh, be warned, it's not going to be um, a very glowing review. But I will say, after me major rants about that, it's an awful, awful talk to me that I was unfortunate to uh, pay out for. Uh, it's an ain't HMV, and I was unfortunate to watch last night. Uh, my throat's still a little bit uh, <laughs> hoarse after the ranting, so uh, this will be a little bit um, a bit milder. But having said that, I'm not going to pull any punches as to what I thought of the storyline as a whole. Okay, got that out of the way. All right, then, guys, I'm going to tell you now what I thought of it. Disappointed. Yeah, disappointed, yeah. Uh, yeah, very slow, uh, not frightening at all, uh, and uh, the, the, the Dracula creature didn't do anything for me at all, you know, uh, it promises to be good and that, you know, I waited so long to watch it and I get the Blu-ray and that, but yeah, and another uh, sad, sad story, guys, of uh, an immensely disappointing horror movie, too many dark scenes, the storyline was very slow and plodding, and um, yeah, um, nothing outstanding about it at all, unfortunately, guys, yeah, uh, the cinematography was it was okay. It basically starts off the movie like where the Demetrius sort of like uh, come ashore with, with the England and that, and obviously all the crew that basically slaughtered and that, you know. Except I think it's just one, one, one survives, yeah. But yeah, and the police go rushing to the ship and that, you know. And then it, then we go back down. We get the flashback to when the Demeter first starts off on its voyage to to you know from Carpathia to Britain and that, you know, see the captain picking his crew and that, picking the most able-bodied men and that, you know, to sort of like, uh, you know, bring onto the ship. And you get this big trunk and that, you know, which of course is containing Dracula's body. Big trunk and that. And that's on the ship and that. So they, they go off to sea and that, you know. And uh, it's a while, to, it takes a while to get going, guys, this movie, you know, to be honest with you, you know. Uh, I'm surprised the last I was actually watching it right to the end, you know. Um, yeah, real ball fest from start to finish. And uh, yeah, a uh, missed opportunity, in my opinion. I often think, you know, if, if the, you know, the Christopher Lee Dracula movie in 1958, if he'd have included the scene where Dracula's on board the ship, the Demeter, how much more awesome that movie would have been. But of course, uh, due to budgetary restraints, they couldn't do, piss all of Stoker's novel in into that into that nineteen fifty eight Dracula. So he did the best he could really tweak the storyline a bit and that, you know. But it's a great shame because I would have loved to have seen Christopher Lee on board the Demonstrator's Dracula and that and you know, killing all the crew and that. But what can you do? Yeah. But yeah, getting back to this guys, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, dark scenes, too many dark scenes and that, and it's too much chit chat, too much conversation sitting around the table and that. The captain the captain yapping, the crew yapping, and that, and it's a young boy in it as well, and that you know he didn't really, he didn't really stand out. None of the characters stood out. I didn't feel any sense of dread. Um, even when the killing started happening, he were over in the twinkle of an eye, and that you know basically the same old thing. And that the, one of the crew members goes up deck to explore, and, and, and Dracula or Dracula, the creature, vampire creature, if you like, um, lurking in the background, and that and pounces, and that see a brief shot of his face, and that's it. Quick, call, quick kills, yeah. But yeah, I was really disappointed with this, guys. The last voyage of the Demeter. And I don't think... I won't be keeping this in my collection, unfortunately, yeah. So, um, yeah. It, it, as I say, missed opportunity here, guys. I could have done so much more with this story and that, you know. Um, we're on the boat all the time, obviously, and that, you know. As, as I say, like, it's just a chunk from Stoker's novel where Dracula stows away on the Demeter and that, you know. And uh, slaughter and all the crew, basically. But, yeah. They could have done a better job with this, guys. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I say my throat's still a bit hoarse after the ranting about here. Uh, about here. Uh, talk to me. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, okay then, guys. On, on to a rating now for the um, last voyage of the Demeter. Mm, I think I'll just give it two. That's all it's getting from me, you know. Um, I say the premise was good and that, you know, and it could have done so much better, you know, with the story and that. Yeah, but yeah, um, 
it wasn't scary at all, you know, and it didn't even look like Dracula, you know, more more sort of like a very, very poor version of the Salem's Lot vampire, uh, vampire Barlow, a very, very poor version of that. You know, he looked. To be honest, guys, this Dracula, he looked more. He looked. Uh, he looked more like something what you'd encounter in a Harry Potter movie. You know, like a monster what you see in a Harry Potter movie. Well, that's that's what I thought anyway. In that, you know. So, um, but yeah, um, as I say, very very disappointing, guys. I won't be keeping this. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen the uh, last voice of the Demeter by any chance? Do you share my opinion? It was a very very lackluster Dracula movie. Leave your comments down below. I'd be very interested, you know, to hear from you. But yeah, guys, I won't I won't be revisiting this. You know, one watch only, and that's it. Yeah. Where's the bin? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that. Yeah. Okay then, guys. Uh, that's it. I'll wrap the video up now. I hope you've enjoyed me to a uh, rather uh, unfavorable unfavorable uh, reviews today. Of two recent horror movies I've watched. Let's hope it's third time lucky, and the third, uh, the third new horror movie I watch will be a good one. Yeah. All right, then, guys. That's it. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Take care of yourselves. And if you, if you like the video, you know, please feel free to share, subscribe, comment, and uh, all going well. I'll be back again very, very soon with another video. Take care. Bye. What do you think of the movie so far, then, Al? Rubbish.